Ever since that spark from across the room, a woman catches your eye, smiles, and perhaps gives you a little moment of her attention. But what happens next? Perhaps you freeze, not knowing how to respond. Imagine yourself feeling self-assured and knowing just how to convert that glance into a discussion or even a meaningful connection. Fear no more, because we've got you covered. You'll learn 10 tips in this video that will help you perform when a woman stares at you. We'll go over confidently posing power moves, easy conversation openers, and the subtle art of obtaining her number without coming across as corny or weird. So stop being confused and subscribe right away. Together, let's transform those uncertain looks into promising opportunities. Number 10. Fix your posture. First of all, ditch the slouch. Has anyone ever found a saggy tree attractive? If you see a woman you could be into who's giving you the look, stretch out that spine, put your shoulders back, and lift that chin up. Imagine stretching upwards. This gives you a strong silhouette and opens your chest for breathing and self-assurance. Don't ever try to blend in. There's a difference between peacocks and chameleons. Take charge of your space. For stability, place your feet shoulder width apart. This avoids that ungainly wobble and establishes a stable base. You have to exude relaxed confidence. Being rigid as a stone is not the way to go. Keep your posture straight, but try not to appear tight. Imagine a formidable creature, alert and prepared to strike, rather than a soldier standing ground. It's all about presence. Maintaining proper posture involves more than just appearance. When you hold yourself tall, it exudes confidence. You are the CEO of your destiny, so act like it. Number 9. Exude Purpose Curb your jerky movements and fidgeting. Walk with purpose when you make eye contact with a woman. Imagine a powerful and agile panther slicing through the jungle. You know the saying, less is more? Steer clear of erratic hand gestures that could come out as tense or hostile. Find a balance between moving with assurance and feeling at ease in your own skin. Being confident but not stiff or afraid conveys that you are in charge. This powerful presence that attracts attention without being intrusive is created by the combination of posture and movement. It conveys, I'm comfortable with myself and I'm here to connect. Now that the inner self is ready, it's time to put the outer self to good use. Number 8. Play the eye contact game. Say she catches your eye. Don't put on your invisibility cloak. Self-assurance has a magnetic quality. Make genuine eye contact or a small nod to meet her gaze. Keep it for a beat longer than a casual look, but avoid making it seem threatening. Consider yourself a competent athlete extending respect to a deserving colleague. Even before you speak, this acknowledgement ignites something. Did she avert her gaze? Not to worry. Later, give her a casual glance back to let her know you are aware of her. It's an effective nonverbal cue that conveys your confidence and curiosity about a possible relationship. Take as long as you can to acknowledge her stare, but don't ogle her. Be the first to break eye contact. Leave her wanting more. Playing this game not only gives you the confidence to make eye contact again, but it also ensures that you don't scare her away. You have to be self-assured, so don't overdo it and act desperate. Don't stare or make eye contact too many times. Charming, not creepy, is what we're going for. Number 7. Smile So she smiled and looked directly into your eyes? Fantastic! It's now your chance to give something back. In the language of attraction, a genuine warm smile is equivalent to a handshake under the table. It conveys to her that you're open to learning more about her and are interested in doing so without saying a single word. Instead of goofy smiles or smug smirks, play it cool and suave like a real man. A smile puts her at ease and gives the impression that you're a fun person to be around. Also, nothing says I'm into you like a smile. Give her a kind grin in response. Hold it for a beat, then glance away for a moment before re-establishing eye contact. This subdued action implies that you're intrigued and may talk to her shortly. Imagine striking up a sincere discussion that results in another worldly bond. A straightforward smile could be the first step to some revolutionary changes in your life. Number 6. Take a second to recalibrate. Hit the brakes, Casanova. You have to give yourself a deliberate moment before you go up to her and start talking. It's the same as giving a call at the line of scrimmage, converting a fumble into a touchdown with a fast check. A moment of thought can change the trajectory of the game. Know this, you're a valued individual, 
and you have limited time and energy. This mini pause to rethink allows you to evaluate the circumstances. Is a conversation even your goal? If not, it might only take a nod and a grin. Pay attention to your gut. Does her vibe rub you the wrong way? Are you in the mood to engage in a lengthy discussion? Be sure of what your body needs. This break gives you power. It enables you to dictate your circumstances. Imagine yourself striking up discussions that genuinely thrill you, all smiles and confidence, rather than throwing yourself into something you may not even enjoy. The pause prepares the groundwork for relationships that uplift rather than deplete you. It's a man in control's ultimate power maneuver. Number 5. Double Take the Double Confirm Okay, Romeo, you've decided you want to talk, but it's time to decide whether she herself is open to having a chat. Here's how you detect her attention subtly and like a gentleman. Give her room and time with respect. A gentleman never applies force. Give her time to acclimate after making eye contact. There's an impact to a second look after the first eye contact. This nonchalant double take conveys your respectful but curious interest. Does she avert her eyes from you completely the next time or look away quickly? Perhaps it's a courteous no thanks. Learn to see the signs. Accept her response, whatever it could be. To move on gracefully and acknowledge her if she's not interested, simply give her a confident nod or grin. You're a gentleman. Remember that. Number 4. Send a silent signal. How do you casually ease into a conversation? A man does not have to barge in. He respects her space. Here's how to initiate a lighthearted conversation with body language. Make sure your feet are pointing toward her to subtly indicate that you'd like to approach her. Make gentle movements to adjust yourself in her direction without being aggressive like an experienced traveler meeting a fellow adventurer. It's all in the stance, friendly and open. Turn to her, hold her gaze for one beat, and then remember to also pay attention to what you were doing before. This implies a possible dialogue but doesn't overtly show desperation. A calm atmosphere is produced by the pause. It allows her time to get used to your attention and maybe respond with a grin or more eye contact. This small change in tone creates the opportunity for a natural conversation starter if she appears open to it. You must show her respect, which you can only do by giving her personal space and giving her time to prepare mentally about you coming over. Number 3 walk over. We've established that she wants you to come to her. Don't back out now. Don't allow indecision to take away your sparkle. A woman may offer a short opportunity when she looks you in the eye. Take advantage of the time. Your ally is confidence. Recall that most women value a man who assumes leadership roles, pose upright, move with purpose, and maintain proper posture. Consider yourself a seasoned anthropologist approaching a warm, approachable local. If she's still staring at you, maintain eye contact as you get closer, and do not be afraid. This piques curiosity and creates suspense. Recall that self-assurance is essential. Don't let self-doubt prevent you from moving forward. A polished approach may serve as the starting point of an interesting discussion. Number 2. Spark the conversation How do you really strike up a conversation with a woman now that your eye contact has drawn you to each other? Try a clear-cut and easy opener. You approach directly, grinning broadly and holding your head high. Establish eye contact, give a firm but soft handshake, and introduce yourself. Show off your confidence by maintaining your stature and a steady tone of speech. Show her you're not embarrassed. If you're a more fun person who likes to keep it light, perhaps you want to mirror the playful and lighthearted atmosphere of the situation. A lighthearted statement like, hey, you can't look at me like that without at least saying hi would work in that situation. But keep in mind that this is a risk. It functions best in a lighthearted and humorous atmosphere, not as something as stiff as a corporate funeral. If not, it might topple over. Eliminating the corny phrases is crucial for both of these openers. Number 1. Get her number. This is the hardest step to do now. It's a good talk and you want her phone number. The secret of success is to make it flow naturally. Put away the direct question, what's your number? It's too abrupt and throws the atmosphere off. Instead, emphasize how enjoyable it is. Make sure she knows you took note of the story she told you. Tell her what's unique about her take on the band you both adore. Let her know she's special whilst also showing off how good you are at talking. Prove you're worth staying in touch with. Next, make a seamless transition and make magic. 
Instead of just chatting, customize your invitation to fit the topic. If you're already talking about something, suggest that you could continue the conversation over coffee. Ask, don't order. You don't own this house. You're just a visitor. Her answer is crucial. A casual, no worries, totally get it, lets her know you're a good sport if she so much as hesitates. But if she says yes, then you might want to stick around and subscribe for more videos on how to keep your mojo on.